Yo, what's up guys, welcome to Coding Bot. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief idea about what is a virtual machine or what is a virtual box and how you can configure that one after configuring and after starting your virtual machine, how we can display our virtual machine, such things. I'm going to give you a brief idea. Let's uh, start the work. Inside uh, of your video, I'm not going to give you the step-by-step -step guide for uh, how to configure a Oracle virtual machine or how to configure a virtual machine. Um, I'm going to uh, guide you for that in uh, in the next video. You can subscribe down below and make sure to uh, turn on the bell notification to get the more updates. And let's begin the work. And I have already installed this Oracle virtual um, uh, machine oracle vm virtual box or else you can install the uh, vmware software as well i will uh, put the links in the description to download this um, oracle virtual machine or the oracle vm virtual box softwares and uh, after opening that one we can see an interface like this uh, now uh, you will cannot uh, see such things as in this windows and windows funnel or mobio you can't see because uh, you are not uh, installed any operating system inside of your pc i have uh, installed two operating systems now so now i can see uh, these stuffs in my virtual inside of my virtual machine um inside that i'm uh, i'm going to start the uh oh, the configured uh, virtual machine but uh, first of all um, I'm going to show you how to add a virtual machine or how to configure your virtual machine you can click here the new button and inside that uh, window you can give a name for your virtual machine now I'm going to give you the name like um, coding yeah now I'm going to code code is fine and uh, the name is code for our virtual machine and uh, machine folder means uh, what is the um, directory of your virtual machi machine installed uh, virtual machine directory and uh, after that we can select the type virtual um, operating system type right uh, you know that uh, there are so many operating systems in the world linux solaris uh, bsd iba mac os and other operating systems as well um, now i'm going to select a uh, windows uh, virtual machine uh, i have already installed uh, and configured the uh, windows 10 environment inside of my win uh, laptop so now i'm going to give a windows 8 version windows 8 64 bit version and i can click next uh, in this window you can um, select what is the memory size um, they select the amount of memory uh, in megabytes to be allocated to the virtual machine and um, you can go to the next page next window and uh, in here you can uh, select what is do not add a virtual hard disk or a create a virtual hard disk uh, you can configure such things and now i'm going to create my virtual machine as well um, you can see what is the hard disk hard disk file type and now i'm going to click next dynamically allocated and you can see a storage on physical hard disk is dynamically allocated or fixed size such things and now i'm going to click next and file location is in here um, in here we are we can give the um, location to install our virtual machine and i'm going to now create after creating that one you can see um here is some information for our virtual machine uh, what are the configurations and what are the storage sizes and um, display size how how much of storage is using for this virtual machine such things you can settings uh, such thing you can configure right and inside of settings you can go to the storage and storage you can select empty and inside after clicking this disk image you can see um choose a disk, disk file now we can see our installed um, downloaded um, operating system version uh, actually some uh, most of the time it uh, it will be a uh, um, iso file so you can download your is file uh, for your operating system and you can select that operating system as well after selecting that one it is uh, adding for this uh, virtual machine now i'm going to start my virtual machine i have already configured windows 10 virtual environment so now i'm going to click on my um, environment and i'm going to click on start after click on start uh, button you can see it is taking some time to load um according to your uh, specs on your laptop or specs on your computer it is showing uh, in a separate window yeah operating system is running uh, I have told you before i have already configured the windows 10 environment you can uh, see you can configure whatever the uh, operating system you need um, it, it may be a uh, um, solaris it may be a uh, mac os linux environments anything you can configure by using this oracle vm virtual box and 
apart from oracle vm virtual box uh, you can use vmware software as well uh, the both are same uh, both are doing the same duty um, yeah now you can see i'm going to skip from here be because it is uh, taking some time to load right now you can see my um, operating system and the virtual operating system has started and uh, the both environments are same you can see this is my um, original uh, inbuilt and the laptop operating system but inside my operating system we can use another operating system as a software and the main advantage is we can use so many operating system inside of a one operating system this is the advantage of a virtual machine and virtualization software and the virtualization software is uh, virtualization concept is a more and complex and more advanced topic to um, discuss and in this video i think uh, you got the idea about what is a virtual machine and how you can see after starting your virtual machine and i think uh, you got a brief idea about how to install and how to configure your virtual machine machine as well and um, thank you for watching guys make sure to share this video for your batchmates and for your classmates and make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon for get the more updates in the future i will meet you soon in the next video we are coding bot thank you